In this tutorial, you'll learn how to repair a water damaged iPhone. The tools you do need are a pencil lobe screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a set of tweezers, a prying tool of some sort. These tools can be bought uh, in the link below. Also, uh, I've put a link of a screw mat. So when you do remove screws, you just print off this chart where you can actually um, you know, put the screws in the, in the correct location. This is located in the description below. So let's get started. The two other things you do need are isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I have used methylated spirits before, but I prefer isopropyl alcohol. The higher the percentage, uh, the better. You can get between 70 to 100%. Uh, these, this is sold at you know, stores like Walmart and, um, and, and general stores like that, and a bucket as well. Okay, so we'll be putting our isopropyl alcohol solution in there. So let's get started. What we need to do is first take out the actual logic board before we actually clean it. So we need to remove the two bottom screws. Just adjust the camera to make it a bit easier so you guys can see. With a pry tool or a blade or something similar, put it in between the frame and the screen, like so. Push, lift, and twist. As you can see, this screen is already broken, but um, for those that aren't broken, be careful. And then once we've, we've done that, it should be open a bit at the bottom there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift at a 45 degree angle, like so. And then you'll see that at the top here, there's a plate with three screws. These three screws need to be removed, then the plate. Okay, now that plate will pop up and you just lift it off. There's a little hook on the left hand side, you just need to push it and lift it a bit and put the plate aside. As I said, use the screw chart that I've got in the description, print it out so you know where the actual screws go. And now we have three cables. One, two, three, we need to remove them. So we get a pry tool or something similar, maybe even a skewer. Pry the first one. Then we can pry the second one. And the third one. As you can see, this phone is water damaged, there is still water in there. So we need to make sure that's all removed. Now we're gonna go disconnect the battery. These two screws. Get removed. And the plate needs to get removed. Now there is a connector. So we can disconnect the battery. Now 
now we have to somehow pry this battery up. Sometimes it can be a bit hard, so just follow what I'm doing. Use something to, to pry in between there. This tool I'm using is an iSesimo tool, and you can purchase these toolkits from Amazon.com. They're only a few dollars. So that, that's it, we take the battery out and we put that aside. Now we need to continue with uh, removing the, the logic board. So we need to take off this plate here. There's one more screw here. This looks all complex, but believe it or not guys, it is easy. Just use that screw chart I've got in the link below. Now there's a little cable here that, that connects to the actual uh, bottom dock assembly. We need to lift that. We lift that and lift up like so. And you'll see there's more screws here. Okay, so we're going to remove this is a screw. You need to use a, ideally a flathead screwdriver. You can even use a knife, you can even use anything, it's just, just flat, it's very easy to get off, so we take that off. And I'll try and do that without getting in the way of the light. There we go, that's coming off there. And there's a second one that's the same there, so we need to remove that. It should be fairly easy to remove. This one is just a bit corroded, it seems. So we take that second one off. Oh, and we, we can't forget this. This is probably one of the most important parts. That's to take out the SIM card. Don't forget to take out the SIM card, or the logic board can't come out. Okay, now then we have another screw. But we also have a cellular connection. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers so I can show you what I'm lifting up. But you can use anything. You just get under there and flick it up. That's the cellular connection. Just bring that close. It's that there, so you just lift up. And it's, this is what lifts off. Okay, and then we go continue with the actual screws. Just get the Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, and now we work our way up. Uh, what you're going to see here uh, are two connectors here. Now be careful when taking these off. Um, I'll use a spudger on this occasion. And you just lift them off. Like so. One and two. The second one came up automatically. We work our way down here. And they go over to this side. And this one's automatically popped up, but take this one off as well. Take this one off as well. So this one falls back now. And now we've got another screw. This is the same for the 5C and the 5S. Seems fairly complex, but once you know where the screws go, it's fine. Okay, now we've got another screw that you need to use a flathead screwdriver here. A really small one. So 
So let me take off this bottom screw here. Just follow the, the actual screws I'm taking out. There is no specific order, but this is what I prefer. You can't do any damage by taking screws out in the wrong order. This plate lifts off, as you can see. Okay, now there's a connector for the camera. And we need to put that back on, back off, sorry. This pops up like so. I'll just show you. And then the camera can easily pop out like that. Now, there's two screws at the top here. Which the motherboard is connected to, so we'll take them out. And as you can see, the, the motherboard will be able to, sorry, the logic board will be able to fold uh, to the side here. Now, I'm going to turn it around. Don't go pulling it out yet. I'll show you why. Underneath, there's a Wi-Fi cellular connection, Wi-Fi antenna connection. You just get a spudger and pop it off. It's like a pop. It's not screwed or anything. It just pops off. And once that's done, we've got our logic board removed. Now. The first thing is, we need to get our isopropyl alcohol and pour some in the bucket. As you can see, I've already done it a bit, but I'll just put a bit more. Just enough to cover the whole logic board. I'll also, in this case, take off the camera at the bottom here, if you haven't done so already. two plate there's a two screws and a plate here we take them off it just pops off like that together okay Now, another thing I forgot to show you is that we need is an old toothbrush. So first of all, we submerge our whole logic board into the alcohol, like so, and let it sit in there. Give it a few minutes. While that happens for a few minutes, I usually like to go over the areas here. Now just follow what I'm doing with a toothbrush. The reason being is that you go over these these connectors and stuff. They'll be they'll be wet as well, so you want to avoid them being wet when you put the logic board back in and putting alcohol over it will actually dry it out a lot quicker. But be careful, don't just douse everything, just lightly go over. I've actually probably put a bit too much on this occasion, but don't put as much as I have. Okay. I'll just leave that for a while. Now, we get back to our logic board. And now we need to spend a bit of time on that logic board. So I'm going to turn this camera up so you guys can see what is going on. So with a toothbrush, you won't, you won't be able to get under these these metal shells here. Um, it, you know, you just have to go around them, unfortunately. Now 
Now, there'll be a lot of uh, solution underneath there, so you're going to have to give it time to dry. One thing about isopropyl alcohol is it dries very quickly. And just gently, don't, don't push too hard, just gently do swirls and circles on the connectors. You're really wanting to, to do these connectors because they have a tendency to, to corrode, okay? So it just swirls like so. Any areas that are exposed, you really don't need to do the metal plates here, just the parts around it. Okay, now, th the, this is the first step. I do an alcohol wash about three times. Um, the second time, I'll leave it in for maybe half an hour or so. And then I'll give it another scrub. And when I say scrub, just lightly with the, the bristles of the toothbrush. Just lightly. And now, once you've done that, keep doing it. Leave it in in the actual um, bucket again for maybe five or ten more minutes, and then dry it with a hair dryer or a heat gun. Make sure everything is dry. So maybe even leave it an hour to dry. And what we'll do is we'll do everything in reverse, and I will uh, put everything back in. And then I'll, I'll actually record again and let's see if it, uh, if it boots up again. Thanks. Hey guys, uh, look, I've uh, pretty much put everything together, booted it up. I've got lucky, it boots up fine. Um, I'm just testing the stuff now. Pretty much do as I've done here. Put in the logic board. You don't have to put all the screws in. Just temporarily put some screws in. Uh, because you want to see what works and what doesn't. So you want to test, you know, your charging port, your headphone jack, uh, the cameras to see if they're working. You want to test, you know, uh, the, the flashlight. You want to test, you know, uh, buttons like this top button isn't working. So I'm going to have to replace that. that. That most likely will fix the issue. I found that a lot of power buttons tend to die when, when they have water, water damage. Like, oh, here we go. This one's temporary. Uh, but still, I'll, I'll, to be safe, I'll actually change that um, and, uh, you know, test test the touch screen and, and all that type of stuff. Test to see it's going to get reception. Test it's going to get Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, test to see that, the, as I said, the, the flash works. Um, test test everything. And then if, if certain parts aren't working, then you have to move on to replacing those parts or um, living you know, without them. Now, I'm going to do uh, two more washes in alcohol in this to be safe. Uh, the more you wash it, the better it is. Don't overwash it. Don't over scrub it. Remember that. Um, now, that's pretty much it. Final thing, don't listen to the bag of rice trick. As you saw, we need to wash it. A bag of rice doesn't wash it. It's as simple as that. Alrighty, thanks again, guys. Feel free to like and subscribe.